same as if someone new are watching One Piece? 1,000 plus episodes? I mean, I guess? I don't know if I agree with that 100%, specifically because most of One Piece is interesting. There could be, there may be like an arc or two out there that's like, okay, filler, why are we watching this? But for the most part, One Piece keeps you relatively entertained and engaged in it. Um, whereas a bulk of A Realm Reborn was just like, why? <laughs> Why do I have to do this? Yeah, it's good, but it only comes to someone that's actually sitting through it. Fair enough. Fair enough. But for me, watching a new show and playing a new game that's... As long as it can keep me interested in it, no problems. The problem with The Realm Reborn was that so much of it was just kind of meh that I didn't feel the need to get in uh, get to like engrossed in it like I can watch a new anime with a lot of episodes as long as it keeps me engaged and I'll just be, watch episode after episode after episode next thing you know I have been through a hundred episodes without realizing it whereas with the realm were born I can only play like an hour or two of it before I was like okay I need to go <laughs> take a break I played it solo and that might be a big reason why it was bad all right, chat, add in 10 seconds. Uh, so all of my followers and uh, um, all of my non-subscribers, you will have an ad in five seconds. So I will see you guys in a minute and a half. A treat. All right. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed the ad. Hopefully, it wasn't a terribly bland ad because I know a lot of these ads they play on the ch uh, on Twitch can be really bland and boring. I like the Black Adam ads though; those are pretty good. Um, but most of them are just <laughs> poopy. But yeah, um, I definitely get that I played 14 solo so uh, a lot of it was probably I mean with the exception of like the quest um, that required to do a dungeon and then the raids and whatnot um, the raids are phenomenal though like the uh, the big boss battles and whatnot <laughs> give me more of that any day which region am I honestly I couldn't tell you I haven't logged into Final Fantasy XIV in probably four months. Um, I think the last time I logged into Final Fantasy XIV was... Actually, it might have been longer than four months. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it's, it's actually been longer than four months. Woo. 
disregard me. I haven't logged into Final Fantasy 14 since like March. Which country? Actually, I could probably just log in and look it up, right? On, on the, uh, what's it, the Crystallarium or whatever they call it? Uh, FF14 Mog Station or something like that? Let's see, the. Oh crap, wrong button. Let's see if I can remember my password. <laughs> yep, I remembered it. Let's see. Uh, I am on Exodus. That's the, uh... I think that's the home world that I'm on right now. Yeah, Primal Exodus. My character's name is Lunar Reese Fairchild. I am a level 61 white mage. Which is surprising because I hate healing. And yet, for some reason, I played a healer. I play a healer in 14. Like, in World of Warcraft, I avoid healers like the plague. But, uh, I usually play a tank in World of Warcraft, although in Classic I'm playing a, uh, Enhanced Shaman, but, uh, in Retail my main is a, uh, Paladin. But, uh, I avoid healers like the Plague in WoW, but in 14, for some reason, I was like, you know what, I'm playing a healer. They're vastly different than in 14? Yeah. I, I feel like healing in 14 feels a bit... Uh, a bit more fun. I don't know how to put it. I feel like healing in 14, it feels a bit more satisfying. Uh, with the way the healing spells chain together and, uh, whatnot. Especially with the white mage having that pocket heal from the flower blooms. So, like, if I say I mess up a button click, I still have that pocket heal that I can throw at somebody. So, like, oh, crap, I actually, you know, cast heal on the wrong unit. Okay, well, let me click on the right unit and cast that quick pocket heal real quick to make up for the fact that I just messed that up. Whereas, uh, in World of Warcraft, I think if you mess up a heal target, you basically kill that person and then they come after you like you're the uh, spawn of Satan. So Isaac, you and your um, adept companions have finally come. How low can I drop my tank before healing? Finally, uh, finally come. Was she expecting us? But how did she know we'd be here? I had anticipated your arrival. You knew we were coming then? I have been waiting a, um, a long while for you. You come seeking the Elemental Stars. How does she know about the Elemental Stars too? Who? Who are you? I am a Jupiter Adept, just like you, Ivan. I'm not a Jupiter Adept. What are you talking about? You are, Ivan, although you may not yet know it. Why do you say that? You do not have the power to. Um, do you not have the power to read minds? This ability is unique to the Jupiter Adepts. You predicted our coming. Um, you predicted our coming. Is that also synergy? Oh, <laughs> excellent question, Miss Mia. Yes, the ability to foresee events along um, also belongs to the Jupiter Adepts. Then can Ivan learn the power prediction too? He already has. I don't think I have. You do. You really do not yet know that you have it. Wait, so does he ever get that power unlocked? The power of Jupiter must be great if, the, if it lets you see the future. Eh, sometimes seeing the future can be a bit uh, bad. 
Oh, but Ivan can learn to use an even greater power. A greater power? Rivet. So yeah, uh, Tata, how long have you been playing uh, 14? Yes, I have waited um, long to pass the power of true sight onto you. You waited here in Lama Temple just to teach Reveal to Ivan? You will need Reveal if you were to achieve your goals. Since 1.0, so about 10, 11 years. Ooh, that's what, 20, what, 2012, 2011? That's dedication right there. That's true dedication. That's about as long as I've been playing World of Warcraft. Um, I'd say that because I took a bit of a break from World of Warcraft for like a year or two before coming back to it. But I started playing World of Warcraft in I believe 2007 or is it 2008? I think it might have been 2008. Whichever year Wrath Retail came out, that's when I started playing. I started playing two weeks before Wrath Retail released uh, in the US of A. Uh, and then I've been playing ever since. Um, I took a bit of, br of a break um, during Battle for Azeroth. Um, after I like completed the main stuff at the beginning of Battle for Azeroth, I took like a, a break in between Battle for Azeroth and Shadowlands. Um, just because I got bored with the game. Uh, then I played a bit of Shadowlands and then I took a break again because Shadowlands was some poopy. Took smaller breaks in between, yeah. Um, and it was just there was a lot of other games that were out and about and I, I just wanted to play different things, break through my uh, catalog. Especially since I now had a computer that could actively play these games. Um, I took advantage of the fact that I can now play, you know, different computer games. But usually, uh, it wasn't because, um, for the longest time, um, you are a raid leader. Nice. I was a guild leader during Wrath Retail. Um, I had my own guild, uh, that raided ICC. Um, but then life happened and I couldn't play for a while, uh, for a bit. Uh, so the guild ended up disbanding and I just didn't feel like rebuilding one. Um, I currently... I have plans to build another one though for Dragonflight. Um, and this is just a, uh, uh, stream guild though. Uh, most people in it are gonna be either friends of the, uh, friends of myself or my family. And or, you know, guild family. Uh, not guild family, uh, stream family. It was, um, it was Satros and his companions who blocked Silk Road. Felix and the uh, Felix and the rest of them, huh? Those cowards. Felix bears a terrible fate, a burden I would not wish on any man. A terrible fate? What do you mean? I am sorry, but I can say nothing more of this matter. Now we must focus on po the power of reveal. So, like, I hate when people do that. They'll tell you a secret. But then say we can't say anything else about it. Leaving us in this weird limbo of wanting to know and knowing that we can't know. Like just tell me so I can be aware and not have to suffer with this need to know. But in the long in the time that I wasn't playing Shadowlands, I was doing shiny hunting for Pokemon. I was doing Pokemon randomizer Nuzlocke. I was trying to do hardcore Nuzlocke. I had dabbled a little bit in speed running Luigi's Mansion for the GameCube. Um, I was playing backlog video games, doing RPG, uh, retro RPG stuff. Um, I was playing Pokemon TCG, both online on the computer and in IRL. I still play IRL. Um, I don't do so much online anymore because it's kind of boring for me. But uh, I definitely play IRL whenever I get the chance. Um, I do tend to play test online whenever I, it's necessary, though. But mostly just uh, IRL in real life stuff. Um, I 
have a kid now, so that takes up a bunch of time too. A uh, big fan of the Souls, uh, Soulsborne series. Uh, so I play a lot of the Dark Soul games and whatnot. Uh, most recently, Elden Ring. Um, I've been playing a lot of Apex lately. I haven't been playing it this past season though. Um, and that's just because I had the kid. I had my daughter. Um, and so I don't have much time to be on the computer to play that. Um, and then with a little time that I did have, I was spending it, uh, uh, studying and whatnot for, uh, these IT, uh, exams and whatnot, uh, for CompTIA A plus and the like. Uh, of course, I've still tried to get, um, things just switched over for the A plus. They are now doing the, uh, the next generation of the A plus exam, so... I'm waiting to get some study guides for that so I can start studying for that again. Try to get my A plus as well as my security plus. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to move into the IT field. Uh, I do work full time as a building engineer for Marriott though, so that kind of gets in the way. But hopefully soon, um, that will be a mute factor. Um, and then I can focus on my uh, IT stuff and just my family. My family and my stream. I want to focus on my family, my stream, and getting into the IT field. Uh, definitely want to focus on the stream stuff. Um, if I can get to a point where I'm able to consistently stream like I was doing during COVID, um, then that would be what I would want to do. Um, cause like pre COVID I was like, I was growing, but really, really slow. Like before COVID started, I think I was at like 200, maybe 250 followers. And then COVID happened and I was like, I was furloughed from work. So I was at home streaming from home. Um, and so by the end of COVID and for me, that would mean be, uh, by the time I returned to work, I had gotten to like close to 900 followers so I, I 600 plus followers uh, I had, had my viewer my viewer count had gone up uh, at the time it went back down of course because I couldn't stream as often because I was doing five days a week streaming uh, six to eight hours a day um, not five days a week four days a week I was doing four days a week six to eight hours a day um, and it was amazing um I love doing six to eight hour streams because that let me cut my streams in half where I would do three hours of community games, Mario Kart, uh, Mario Party, Smash Brothers, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, and then I would be able to do three hours of story based game like this. Um, but now I don't have as much time to stream. I may be able to stream two hours in the evening on Thursdays and Fridays and then four hours on Saturday. Um, so then I still have time for the baby. Um, but because of that, it limits the amount of games I can play, the type of games that I can play. So, yeah. You just streaming for fun, uh, whenever you feel like? Yeah. I mean, you kind of have to. You kind of have to. First and foremost, if you are not streaming for fun, you are going to have a terrible time streaming. <laughs> If you're if you're streaming solely based on trying to make money, then you're just going you're going to quickly find that it becomes tedious, monotonous, and annoying. Oh, I forgot to drop that follow. Let me go ahead and do that now. You probably just got the uh, alert for that. I. Just drop the follow on your channel. So what rank are you in League? You see? Nice. Yeah, I... 
I enjoy streaming solely for the fact that it gives me a chance to talk to a lot of like-minded people uh, while playing games um, with said like-minded people um, and having a good time. Um, I was always one who loved playing like big Mario, like big games like Mario Party and Mario Kart, that kind of stuff, and big groups of people. Um, but because I was always usually the only person in my household that enjoyed playing video games, I mostly spent my time growing up playing games by myself. Um, even in like middle school, high school, because I moved so much, it was hard for me to meet uh, meet people uh, that were had the same kind of interests as I did. Um, so streaming was a way for me to kind of uh, bridge that gap, so to speak. You're in silver as well. Okay, I I was in silver. I think I ended in silver. I think I might still be silver. That or like low bronze. I just, because I can't put the time in I would like to get ranked up in there, I just don't even try. <laughs> if I can't stream at least four hours of League, which is probably about four games, uh, then there's no point in me trying. And especially now with the baby, I never know when I'm going to have to jump off the computer, so I try to only play games that I can just quit without it penalizing me or, you know, a group of people. I do a lot of TFT though, but that's mostly because I can play that on my phone. Uh, so I usually always make platinum every season on that. Uh, you think people will tilt more because you pick weird things? Uh, I mean, weird things how? Like, what, what constitutes weird for you? Yeah, I don't want to die in the desert. Uh, you should let Master Hammer teach you how to use River Hill. Show gaff support? I've seen that before, though. I've seen that plenty of times. It's not the most conventional support, but it can definitely work so long as the person using Show gaff as support knows what they're doing. Uh, definitely one of those things that is done in a duo setting because more than likely the person you're playing with knows how Show gaff works too, so they know how to play around Show gaff's ability. Uh, table support's still a thing. That's definitely still a thing. Um, I've actually been seeing Ramus support a lot lately, too, which I thought was weird. I was like, oh, that's weird, but when I've seen it, when I see it work, I'm like, oh, this is stupid, man. <laughs> but when it doesn't work, you feel it. Now, Mundo support sounds weird. I've seen Orn support. Mundo support sounds weird. Uh, Ramus, uh, your jungle sounds fine. Uh, Jaina top lane with smite. Uh, I've seen that too. Um, actually, I think I've seen that in some of the pro game plays too. I believe Jana top lane with smite. They play a little bit more passive, where they're like uh, farming more underneath their uh, their turret, uh, specifically because if people try to dodge you, uh, or if people try to dive you under the turret, you know, you get a nice uh, tornado hit off on them. Uh, which knocks them up and they're taking turret ticks. Uh, and it could be a nice setup for your jungle to come and get, you know, free kills. It doesn't stay top, it, it evades. Yeah, I mean, if you can get a nice little, little little bit of a lead, you can just roam the entire time and mess with their jungle with smite. So, yeah. You kind of hide around the, the, the bush and wait for them to, like, get a, a, a creep down to, like, as much as we didn't smite it and then walk away before they can see you. yeah that sounds annoying you think you have a screenshot somewhere let me know if you can find it um and if it's a link if it's a link let me know and i can uh i'll give you permission before you can post it Oh, by the way, for anybody in chat that has any ideas for retro RPG games that we can play, uh, feel free to go join the Discord. The Discord is free for everybody to join. Um, and you would post your ideas for games inside of uh, the Retro RPG Spotlight Series section.
Beijing followed us. I sensed it. Sensed it? What do you sense? Sue. Um, Sue is in great danger. Sue left this place a long time ago. I know, but Sue did not return to Xi'an. Uh, the boulders in the mountains. I sensed it. I came through the mine. I came to ask for your help. I sensed nothing as I was focused on Isaac's arrival. But why has the power come to you now after all this time? Jim's fell from the sky. One hit me right on the head. I wonder how big that gym was. Okay. Give me a second. I'll give you the permission to uh, post links real quick. Give me a second before you post anything. Okay. You can go ahead and uh, post the picture link if you have it. This way you don't get eviscerated from the channel. <laughs> 2 for uh, 39 assists. That's a lot. I'm assuming y'all won that, right? Yep, 35 minute game. That's not bad. They just ignored me. Like, they're supposed to be teaching me, uh, reveal. Let's see, you were using... Pretty standard support items. Okay. You had a lot of CC on your team too. Which probably irritated them most of all. I hate teams with lots of CC. Uh, support items so you get gold passively since you don't lane and pokes for some extra cash. Otherwise, just moving items. So, what did you do in terms of keeping the opponent, you know, relatively low farm-wise? Or did you just ignore the fact that he was getting farmed and do your own thing? You just ignore it? Interesting. It would get bounty. Do you happen to know a player by the name of Kage Myth? So top lane enemy was basically a walking uh, paycheck. <laughs> That's one way to think of them. I wonder why Master Hammer has purple hair, but uh, Ivan does not. Do 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 Let's just say he was um he has a boring time top lane since nothing happened there. Ever pushed past one tower since we collected him? With the constant knocking him out. Next ad in three minutes and 30 seconds, by the way, chat. Sue, are you okay? Ask the hammer. I am okay, but the boulder, I cannot move. Sue seems unhurt. You must be glad, Faze. Yes, thank you, master. But how can we free him? I... Do not know. <laughs> what can we do? 
Be strong, Su. We will help you. If you get out of my way, I can. Su, um, Su uh, tires. He looks exhausted. I'm worried. How should we move the boulders? How do they not know I'm reading their mind, though? The power of lift! Isaac, did you lift the boulder? Oh my, the boulder! It floats! Quickly, Faisy, we must pull Sue free. Ready yourself, Sue. I'm going to pull. One, two, three! He's halfway out, just a little farther. Can you hang on just a moment longer? I mean, the boulder is probably going to float there for, for eternity. Thank you, Isaac. We must contact Master Fay and ask him to attend to Sue's injuries. I will ask him to clean up the rocks, too. Excellent. If Silk Road remains blocked, everyone will suffer. Addict, let me thank you again. I am truly grateful. I did not expect you to come and aid us. No, Master Hammer. We are the ones who should be grateful. Thank you for passing the power of reveal on to me, but what you said. What is it, Ivan? Well, well, really, I was the one who suggested we help you, right? What? Didn't you want to help? Um, what, didn't you want us to hurry on to the desert, Garrett? Did I, Mia? Did I really? <laughs> I think it must be mistaken. Yeah, that's it. Do not worry, Garrett. I do not mind. Travel well, my friends. I hope to see you soon. Unfortunately, you won't see me again into this too, but just saying. Weren't you going to ask Mr. Ham um, Hama what she meant earlier? We don't need to know when we um, um when we'll be able to see the Master again. Isaac, don't you think we should ask Master uh, Hama what she meant? Nah. Huh? You don't think we should? Just um, you think we should just leave it as is? I think it's better that you stop talking now too. Shut up! Next ad in 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. See you in a second. It says ad starting soon. It's probably playing now as it is. Yep. Stretch your legs, stretch your body, make sure you're nice and limber. I will do the same. Uh, uh, uh. My leg is still stiff from being propped up. Oh, I hope I don't have to worry about a car accident for the rest of my life. <laughs> Never again do I want to have to deal with one of those pain in the butts. Sonic G Fuel cans. I mean, just drink the drink and save the can. I mean, that's what I would do. Alright, everybody, welcome back! How's the ad? 
Was it another poopy ad or was it a good ad? Okay, uh, you know what? We will just use energy stone. It doesn't hurt, right? It's there. Alright, so let me do the thing where I switch my reveal. Switch mine read quick uh, to reveal so I can be quick about it. If you haven't seen the net, well, that's good. I'm wondering if they change it so that only followers have to deal with ads. Not, uh, not followers, non followers. Have to deal with them. I can't stop sweating. I wish I brought a change of clothes. Sorry, that doesn't exist in this game. You should know by now in RPGs, no one changes their clothes. <laughs> they wear the same clothes for, the re for their entire storyline. Change of clothes. What's wrong with this lady? She don't know nothing about anything. Ice horn. Alright, so I need to remember. I can't wait for the boat phase. But I'm gonna have to remember exactly how to do the boat phase in a way that allows uh, me to go to Crossbone Island. Uh oh. Baby's not happy about something. What happened? The orc! I love how different games have different iterations of an orc. Uh, we could fight the antlion or we could ignore it. Did I go the right way? I feel like I'm missing an item if I didn't go the other way. What's going on with her? The baby is not having a good time upstairs right now. She's having a bad time. Um, I probably should have stepped in the water first before I came back this way, right? I'm probably gonna regret that, huh? Why should not be any water up there? Do 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 do. I'm pretty sure there's an item up this way, though. I mean, what's the worst that's gonna happen? I'm gonna take damage. Vulcan X! Uh, increases by 7. His by 20, though. We're gonna give that to him. Makes sense, too, because it's like it's a fire axe to begin with, so. Jesus, that is like 25% of my HP. Uh, let's have him cast Storm Ray and her cast Wish. Probably should have used Wish outside of battle. Just to make sure I don't take unnecessary damage after casting it. Like it was just a standard hit onto Isaac, so it wasn't too bad. Alright. Uh, I believe this is the zone where there's a Jenny for Jupiter hiding amongst the uh, the uh, mirages. Ice on! Dang it! It dodged it. Yo, they uh, they not liking Garrett. <laughs> I know. Yeah, are you happy now? I probably should wait until after the Jenny fight.
let's go! Right on time. Oh, there he is. Oh, we don't have to fight him? Let's go. Just join the party. I learned Gaia, Weaken, Delude, Sleep, and Haunt. So I lose, I lose all that good stuff. Uh, he learns Astral Blast, Ward, Weaken, Delude, Sleep. I lose all that good stuff. I learned Ward now. I traded for Spritz. I gained Prism. And she gains Prism and Plasma and Impact. But she, learned, she misses out on Ply. Well, she misses out literally everything else that makes her, like, the best. It's a Salamander! Everybody attack Salamander. Gonna work a bit, getting yourself some food. Sounds like fun. Enjoy the food. Hopefully you find something nice and tasty. I'm not entirely certain how long I'll be going. Probably for about another 30 minutes or so. I'm thinking around 4 o'clock-ish or so. I need to uh, peace out so that I can... Uh, start helping my wife in terms of like dinner prep and whatnot. Uh, I need to grab the, the baby that way she can focus on cooking and whatnot. Uh, without having to worry about the baby being all in the way. Because if I don't, the baby will definitely get in the way. She will hang around in that kitchen. <laughs> Swan was supposed to be like back in a few minutes. Nice. I could have sworn this would be like a lucky pepper or a piece of bread or something in this desert. Nope, that's an ant lion. Oh, there it is. I was like, I know that you was one ear. Um, he has four luck, five luck, six luck, seven luck. Four, five, six, seven. That is hilarious. Hold up. Was this always up here? Known if that was always up here. Let's see if we can kill them all. Should be able to knock him out before he summons another one. Spell that I'm probably never going to use. No, my daughter's doing. She's having a good time doing it. That's for certain. We're at the very least going to try to make it out of this annoying desert.
okay, so if I want to get the item that's down there, I need to go... I'm gonna have to go down there. Oh, there's no way to get down there. That's unfortunate. I'm about to take a huge chunk of damage from walking through this uh, sand. Eh. One wish completely heals the damage I take, so. Alright, boss time. I thought there was a boss there. I thought it was like a manticore beast or something like that there. Oh, there was another part. Yeah, that makes sense. Touche. I'm not even in the hole. I wasn't even in the hole. I was as far away from the hole as you can get. Imagine beating that monster only for it to reappear almost immediately. Uh, 97, 53, 124, 108. Uh, I, I kind of feel like I just wasted a mint on Garrett because Garrett will forever be slow regardless of how much you increase his speed. Alright, now that we did that, we can head all the way up to the top. So this is the boss, the core of the Manta. He looks big, but not big at the same time. Is that weird? I forget what his, uh, what he's considered. I want to say he's considered fire, right? I have a feeling that, uh... I didn't mean to use fizz. Attack twice as well. Not a deadly poison, though. I didn't kill that poison from him. Resistance, cure the poison, fake revival. 
Chris is out. Nice. Uh, Flint into Fever. Into Smog. Into uh, Spritz. So now we can summon Sybil, uh, Tiamat, play Gust, and it missed. Alright, 280. Uh, Tiamat's probably only going to do like 150. If I had to guess, I'd say about 150. So I'm close enough. Summon Thor. You sleep. Thor woke him up. Did you see him go rainbow colors before he died? If I remember correctly, there's a Jenny here. If I'm remembering correctly, there should be a Jenny here in these woods. Maybe I was wrong. Could have sworn there was a Mars Ginny here. Oh, it was a Venus. It was a Venus Ginny. Either way, I was wrong. Well, I guess I was technically just wrong about what kind of Jenny was here. Mars one. 